which is at the Naval Center. That's cool. Uh, where <laughs> I have a sort of sprained ankle and I forgot about it. <laughs> um, that's where our, our agni, or our fire, is in the belly. That's where we digest and transform. Um, and so we're going to be working with that a little bit uh, today. So we're going to start actually, um, I, I forgot to say, if anybody wants a block or two blocks, they're in that blue bag, that IKEA bag right behind Mitch. So if when we do things like this in a lunge, if this is hard for you to reach the floor, having some blocks okay. helps to bring the floor up to you. So it's not so gotcha. if you're tight in the hips or tight in the hamstrings or the psoas or your hip flexors, I should say, um, it can be very helpful um, just so the floor is not so far away from you. Or to sit on. Right now when we're sitting, uh, doing some breath work, lifting your hips up a little bit is easier for for sitting, especially if you're tight in your hips. Oh, God. <laughs> I keep forgetting I can't do that today. Um, so we're going to start actually with a mudra and some breath work. But before we start the breath work, how many of you know what um, ujjayi breath is? How, do, how many of you know how to do it? Yeah? OK. All right. So there's a few people. Did you put up your hand, Mitch? Maybe. Maybe? OK. <laughs> so we're go I'm going to go over it just because not everybody, uh, for the longest time, I knew what it was, but I just wasn't really good at it. So we're going to go over it, and we're going to use that breath through our whole practice. So ujjayi breath means victorious breath. And what we do is we, we cause a restriction at the back of the throat to slow both the inhale and the exhale down. And so a good way to practice this, you can start practicing it with your mouth open if you find this difficult or have never done it. And think about fogging up a mirror. So let's all just pretend we've got a mirror right here. So notice when you do that, there's a change in that little soft palate at the back of your throat that slows the breath down. So do that again. And now unfog the mirror. So you're doing exactly the same thing as you inhale as well. So if you didn't become aware of what was happening in your throat, do it one more time with your mouth open, and then do exactly the same thing, but with your mouth closed so it's going through your nose rather than through your mouth. As though you're trying to fog that mirror. And you'll, you'll hear that it's like an ocean-sounding breath. The exhale tends to be easier for most of us. And sometimes we have to think about the inhale a little bit more. So that helps us to draw the breath out and keep it really smooth. Uh, and that's how we want our breath to be through our whole practice, that nice, smooth, even inhale, nice, smooth, even exhale. So even if you didn't get any of the postures right, if you just sat there or stood there doing your ujjayi breath, you would have a profound effect on the, on the mind and the body. So um, we're going to do a mudra while we do this breath as well. So take your left hand and just put the palm up right in front of your belly. And then take your right hand, make a fist with your thumb up. The thumb represents the sun, which represents the fire. And so this is Agni Mudra, which is our uh, mudra for fire, for digestion. So you can have your eyes open or closed. And we're just going to use our ujjayi breath here for a few rounds of breath. Oh, God, I keep forgetting. <laughs> so start with your inhale. And exhale, breathing through the nose, creating that gentle restriction so that you might hear your neighbor's breath, but it's not so loud that the person at the other end of the hall can hear it. So nice, gentle inhale, nice, gentle exhale. And when that starts to feel easy, we're just going to do a count of four for both our inhale and our exhale. So inhaling for four, three, two, one. And exhaling for four, three, two, one. And inhale, four, three, two, one. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Keep going with your count. 
until that starts to feel like you're not having to think about it so much. And I always find my eyes closed helps me not think about what's going on around me. And then I'm going to give you an option to add something else into this breath, also to the count of four. So you can inhale to a count of four, retain the inhale for a count of four, and then exhale for a count of four, retain the exhale for a count of four. So equal breath, equal retentions, and move with your own count. Beautiful sound of ujjayi breath, keep it going. Do two more complete cycles of your four, 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 four count. And whenever you finish those two cycles, you can release your mudra, let your hands rest on your knees. And just let your breath flow evenly. And then you can let your uh, eyes float open. So we're going to warm up our wrists. A lot of times when we haven't done yoga for a while, the wrists can be sore and down dog. So what we're going to do is you're going to place the back of your hands together. And as we roll the wrists, you're going to keep some part of your hand in contact at all times. Nice. Now we all look like graceful dancers, just with our beautiful hands. <laughs> and now let's go the other way. Don't you feel like a dancer when you're not even moving? La, 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 la. <laughs> We're going to do laughter yoga tonight. <laughs> and then you can release that. If you're sitting on a block, or something else, you can move your block out of the way. And bend your knees, bring your feet out in front of you, your hands beside you, or behind you, I should say. And we're just gonna windshield wash our knees from side to side. So just letting the knees drop one direction. And as your knees drop to the right, let your left hip uh, come up a little bit and go the other way. And you can kind of think about lifting your heart as you do this. So we're just kind of warming up the hips a little bit and just like, like your knees are windshield washers going from side to side. Now you can keep going just like this or you can bring a little more into it as that right knee comes down. You might lift your hips up and reach up and then come down and then do the same on the other side. And if this doesn't feel good for your body for some reason, just come back to doing the windshield washers and just do a few times to each side pressing into that knee as you lift the hips and look up to the sky and open your heart center I'm getting to open that front body a little bit do one more time to each side <clears throat> and feel that deliciousness as you open the front body <laughs> and then let's make our way onto hands and knees <clears throat> if somebody starts getting chilly let me know because I'm feeling the coolness over here so if you guys start getting cold before I get you too heated up I can turn that heat back up again so spreading your fingers wide pressing all ten fingerprint pads into the floor you can have your feet flat or your toes curled under we're just going to do cat cow. Now find that ujjayi breath that you practice sitting. And as you inhale, draw your heart forward, lift your gaze, let the belly drop towards earth and lift the tail. And then as you exhale, starting at your belly, begin to draw the navel center towards your spine. Press the earth away and let your spine curl up to the sky. 
Oscillate between these two postures, cat and cow, using your ujjayi breath, inhaling your heart opens and the front of the spine opens. The exhale, we open the back of the spine. Let the head drop, let the tail drop. Keep moving with your breath. <clears throat> and just feel beginning to release tension in the spine, in the neck. And we're going to get into the shoulders and neck a little bit more here. Do one more round, <clears throat> and then we'll come back to tabletop, which is just a neutral spine. You can bring your hands slightly ahead of your shoulders. And we're going to start with our right hand. As you inhale, reach that right hand up to the sky in a twist, and then as you exhale, thread that arm underneath and slide that hand away from you. Let your shoulder and maybe even the head or your ear come down to the mat. And you should feel a little bit of an opening or a stretch <clears throat> in that upper back, um, the space between the shoulder blades, opening a little bit through those upper ribs. Nice breath here, because you're still connected to your ujjayi breath. And then on your next inhale, you're going to float that arm and reach it back up to the sky into your twist, and then place that hand down. Let's do second side. Use your ujjayi inhale to reach left arm up. And as you exhale, slide that through. Let your head come down. Let your shoulder come down. And if anybody's got any things happening in your body, and I'm inviting you into some of these movements or postures, and it doesn't work for your body, please don't do it just because I suggested it. Be mindful of your own uh, restrictions that might ha be happening in your body. Take one more breath here. And then let your next inhale bring you up. Reach up to the sky. Float your hand down, spread your fingers wide, press the fingerprint pads into the floor, curl your toes under. We're gonna hover our knees and draw the navel center towards the spine. So you can feel your core muscles, the navel center muscles beginning to engage, beginning to bring some heat, some fire into the belly. Take one more breath here. And then as we exhale, press the top of the mat away from you, begin to lift your sit bones to the sky, coming into downward facing dog. You can keep your knees bent here. Actually, let's all bend our knees deeply. Draw your belly to your thighs, press the mat away, and then begin to press your thighs up and back into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. As we exhale, We'll walk, step, hop your feet to the top of your mat. Let your hands frame your feet. As you inhale, hands come to your shins, reach your crown of your head forward so that your torso, your spine is parallel to the floor. And as you exhale, bend your knees, press into the earth, circle your arms wide and we rise up. And press your hands together, come into mountain pose. <clears throat> So spring is a time of balance, that yin and yang. Does everybody know what the yin and yang sign looks like? It's like two little, one white one and one black one, little paisleys that fit together. We're going to do that kind of movement with our arms and some of our poses. So we're going to do it in mountain pose to start. So <clears throat> um, as you inhale, your right arm's going to come up, your left arm's going to go across. So we're kind of making this yin yang. And then we're going to switch and think about that yin yang little sign of balance of light and dark of activity and rest. And so we're going to be doing this when we move into our warrior two position, but I wanted to do it here before we move on just so you get the arm movements and then release your hands down and we're going to get you warmed up now with the breath of bliss. And those of you who were here last week, we did this one. So it's a three part inhale and then an exhale. So it'll look like this, arms come up, inhale, 
and then inhale and inhale and exhale bend your knees let it go inhale straight up inhale wide inhale all the way up exhale out a couple more like that inhale reach it out spread wide inhale up let it go keep going inhale Two more. And this time as we come up and reach up, let your arms circle wide. Come back to your heart center. Take a moment's pause in your mountain pose. <clears throat> Inhaling and exhaling, just noticing perhaps a little bit of energy beginning to move already. And then we're going to move through some sun salutations and begin to honor the sun by waking up that sun within us. So let's inhale, circle your arms wide, reach up, look up. And as we exhale, we bow forward. Inhale, hands come to your shins as you reach the crown forward and lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow down, plant your hands either on your blocks or on your mat. Step your right foot to the back of your mat. We're going to add some lunges into our... Um, sun salutations here. So try and get your knee right over your ankle. And then as you inhale, draw your heart forward. Lengthen that back heel back so we feel a little opening in that hip flexor. And then as we exhale, we're coming into reverse lunge. So walking it back, press into that front heel, lift those front toes. Grab your, um, your blocks. Sunny. That'll make a big difference. Yeah, one on each side. Nice. And then inhale, come forward to our original lunge position. We're going to do this a couple times. Exhale back, reverse lunge. You can walk your hands along. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Inhale forward. And this time we step back into downward facing dog. <clears throat> inhale come forward to plank pose or high push up and we're going to pause here for a moment now you can also if you're building strength you can drop your knees into half plank we're going to stay here for a couple more breaths stay connected to your ujjayi breath one more breath stay lifted in your shoulders and then exhale slowly lower all the way down to your mat Uncurl your toes, hands are under your shoulders. As you inhale, drag your heart forward, drag your heel of your hands back into cobra. Extend through your toes so that your knees lift. And exhale, come down. <clears throat> Second one, bring your hands wide up onto your fingertips, elbows are bent. Same thing, inhale, drag your heart forward. Lift your heart, you're still breathing, inhaling, exhaling. Release down on an exhale. Hands under your shoulders. Take an inhale, exhale, press back, child's pose. Breathe into your back body, take another inhale here. Exhale it out. Inhale, tabletop, curl your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now from your down dog, on your next inhale, right leg floats up to the sky in three-legged dog. Reach it up, get a nice stretch. Rise up high on those left toes. And then as you exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Press up, get as far away from the mat as you can. Step that foot up between your hands. Use your right hand to help it get up there if it doesn't quite make it. Use your blocks so that you have a little space between you and your mat. Everybody's there. So we're doing lunge on our second side now. Reach your heart forward. Let your, let your right thigh press down towards the earth. Let your left thigh press up towards the sky. Take an inhale, and as we exhale, we're going into our reverse lunge. Exhale, 
walk your hands alongside. And if you're using your blocks, you bring your blocks up to their high position. Give yourself a little more room. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Last one back. Exhale. Inhale forward. We're going to rotate our feet to the long side of our mat. Hands, blocks can come along with you. Check to see that your feet are parallel. So you don't want your feet turned out. Just make sure they're parallel to the short end of your mat. You can still use your blocks here if you wish. As you inhale, lift halfway so that you've got a nice flat back. And as you exhale, bend your right knee, walk your hands over towards your right foot, come into a side lunge. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale the other side. This is really nice if you tend to be really tight in your inner thighs. Inhale to center. Exhale the right. One more time to the left. Inhale, center, nice long spine. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. We're going to rotate our toes to the top of our mat now, coming back into our lunge. Everybody there with me? And then we're going to step that left foot forward to meet our right. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shins, nice long spine, nice long through the crown. Exhale, navel center draws in as we fold, bend your knees, really press into your mat, rise up, circle your arms wide, reach high, look up to the sky, and draw into your heart center. Awesome. How's everybody doing? I'm going to shut this door because I think somebody's doing some construction. If anybody needs the bathroom, you just sneak out this door. I didn't actually tell everybody where the bathroom is. Does anybody need to know? Okay, good, let's keep going. <laughs> We're going to add something into that sun salutation we did. We just did. We're going to bring chair pose into this to help bring some heat. You can have your feet either hip width or together, whatever is most comfortable for you. Inhale, reach up to the sky. As we exhale, sit down in an imaginary chair. Take an inhale here. As we exhale, we fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lift your heart, hands to shins. Exhale, let's step our left foot back this time. So we're in our favorite lunge position. Take an inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, we're just going to do this once, reverse lunge. Inhale forward. Exhale, step that right foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward. Let's take two breaths in our uh, plank pose this time. Becoming aware of the navel center and that fire, that heat building. And then as you exhale, lower down. You might drop your knees to lower. You might keep them up. <clears throat> Extend your legs long. Let's reach both hands forward this time, palms down. We're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg, starting with the right arm, left leg. As you inhale, lengthen that right arm, left leg. As you exhale, lift up into a cobra. Stay here for your inhale. Exhale, release down. Second side. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, press up. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, release down. One more time to each side. Right arm, left leg, lengthen on the inhale. Exhale, press up. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, release down. Last side. Lengthen on your inhale. Exhale, press up. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, release down. Hands under your shoulders. Let's lift up for just one little cobra. Inhale, rise up, exhale, release down. As we exhale, you can either press back into child's pose or straight back into downward facing dog. If you have tension in your low back, 
child's pose is a nice transition along the way and then find your way into downward facing dog when you feel ready inhale exhale reconnect with ujjayi if you've lost it and then our next inhale left foot floats up into a three-legged dog rise up high on those right toes as you exhale draw your knee to your nose press the floor away from you lift up high and step that left foot up use your left hand to help it get up there use your blocks if you're using blocks take an inhale as we exhale one reverse lunge inhale forward and this time take an inhale reach your heart forward we're going to step that back foot forward on our exhale inhale lift the heart exhale bow bend your knees press into the floor rise up circle your arms wide look up to the sky draw your hands to your heart center and release are we starting to warm a little bit yeah does anybody need heat you're good okay well, I'm going to warm you up just a little bit more to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to turn this way for a while, so now you get to see my butt. <laughs> I just realized that the whole time my butt's been to the camera. <laughs> I forgot it was there. <laughs> so this time we're going to add something with our chair pose. We're going to go all the way down to the floor. So you can have feet together or feet wide. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit down. And then keep on going and you might reach your arms out in front if you need a little help until and you might need your hands until you can come all the way down we're going to come into boat pose so your boat pose might be with your toes touching and your arms to the side it might be here or they might both be lifted or they might even be straight they don't have to be take one more breath here then bring both arms on the outside press your right knee into your left elbow come back to center go to the other side press elbow and knee into each other back to center and then let's make our way back up onto our feet you might need a little boost and this time we're going to exhale and fold inhale halfway exhale step your right foot to the back of the mat and this time we're going to rise up into a crescent lunge but we're going to start with runner's lunge so stay high up on your back toes you can make some space between right and left for a little better balance and then slide your fingertips out behind you reach your crown forward as you reach your fingertips back and then on your inhale we rise like those plants in the forest that are starting to rise out of the dead leaves, we rise up, bring your palms together, press, or bring your fingertips, intertwine your fingers, press your palms up to the sky. Take one more inhale here. And then as we exhale, release your hands, circle nice and wide. Bring your hands to your heart center. We're gonna lean forward again and twist to our left. So your twist might be forearm to your knee left hand to your hip might be hands at heart center some of you might want to open your arms one left or sorry left hand to the sky right hand to the earth whichever variation you're taking just make sure you can still stay connected to your ujjayi breath i don't hear ujjayi breath anymore take one more breath <laughs> and then release your hands down to the mat Let's step back, downward facing dog. Now you can come into child's pose here. Some of you might want to take a flow. Child's pose or down dog is absolutely fine to stay there. Some of you are going to come forward to plank pose. And then I'm going to allow you to choose your own back bend. You might do cobra, you might do up dog, you might come all the way down and press up into your down or up dog and then we will all meet back 
in downward facing dog. Take an inhale, exhale here. We're gonna float right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Get a nice stretch. As we exhale, draw the knee to your nose. Lift yourself up away from the floor, high on your toes, and step that foot up between your hands. Use that right hand to help it get there. Use your blocks to give you space away from the floor. And we're gonna come into our crescent lunge on our second side. <clears throat> so, Fingertips drag back behind you, runner's lunge, reaching your crown forward and your fingertips back. And then circle your arms as you rise. Intertwine your fingers, press the palms up. Don't fall over. <laughs> Take one more breath here. And then we're going to bring our hands to heart center, move into our twist to the right. Again, same options, lean the body forward. You can release hands to knee and heart, or sorry, knee and hip, or hands at heart center. Some of you might want to open the arms. You choose. One more breath. And when you're ready, release hands down to the mat. And this time we're gonna step forward with that left foot. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, bend the knees, rise up, circle wide. Look up, draw into your heart center. And release. Take a couple breaths in your mountain pose, either feet together or feet hip width. Inhale, exhale, don't, use your, don't lose your ujjayi breath. Eyes can be closed, eyes can be open. And as you stand in your mountain pose, feel into your feet and that connection to the earth. And with that connection, feel yourself being able to rise up and lengthen up, crown up to the sky. One more inhale, exhale here. <clears throat> nice smooth ujjayi breath. And then you can float your eyes open. We're gonna step our right foot to the back of our mat. So bend your knees, big step back. And then turn that right foot so that it's pointing towards the long side of your mat, but your left foot's pointing to the short end or the top of your mat. We're gonna move into our warrior two. Bring your hand to this uh, front thigh. And as you bend that knee, press that thigh down. Maybe you need to widen your stance a little bit. We don't want the knee to go beyond your ankle. So make sure your stance is nice and wide. Float your right hand up and reach it out behind you. Float your left hand up, reach it out in front of you. So your warrior two. And now we're gonna bring that yin yang that we just practiced in our mountain pose into this. So the left arm is gonna move up as though we're going into peaceful our warrior. The right hand is gonna reach forward. And then we're gonna switch it. We lean our, our torso forward as though we're going into side angle. And we're gonna do this a few times. So if you didn't get it the first time, that's okay. So it's kind of like a variation of peaceful warrior and side angle except our arms are doing something a little bit different. And our torso is working a little bit harder because we're not putting our elbow on that front knee like we normally do and get that little rest. Last one. Create that yin yang, that balance of light and dark. Rest and movement. And this time come up into your warrior two. Let's straighten the front leg and turn both toes to the long side of your mat. <clears throat> and again, check that your feet are parallel. And then I'm gonna give you some options for your hands. You can intertwine your fingers behind your back if that's not available to you or not appropriate for your shoulders. You can press your fists into one another behind your back with elbows bent. 
So take an inhale here, lift your heart, lift your gaze. As you exhale, reach your heart forward as you fold forward. Little micro bend in your knees as you fold forward. Letting your crown of your head drop towards the earth. So you're not holding tension in your neck. Nice. Inhale, exhale, your ujjayi breath here. Inhale, exhale. One more round. And now as we prepare to come up, we're going to inhale to a halfway lift so your torso, your spine's parallel to the floor. Pause here to exhale. Inhale the rest of the way up. Release your hands once you're up. And then we're going to come into five point star. Reach your arms straight out, 45 degree angle. And really extend in all five directions through your fingertips, through your feet, through the crown of your head. And just breathe your ujjayi breath here. Inhaling and exhaling, reaching, 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 expanding, feeling that expansion and that rising energy here. Two more rounds of breath. One more round of breath. And slowly let your hands float down. Close your eyes and just take a breath or two for present moment awareness, just to notice energy flowing through your body. Notice whatever you're feeling. We need to take time to pause and notice the effects of whatever we're doing in our class. Have you lost your ujjayi breath? Come back to it if you have. And then let's turn our left toes back to the top of our mat and step to the top of your mat. Okay, we're gonna do second side. So take an inhale, exhale, bend your knees, step left foot nice and far back, right toes point to the top of your mat. <clears throat> Press that right thigh down as you bend that knee, you want your knee right over your ankle, so check in and make sure that's where it's going. Extend your left hand out behind you. Extend right arm in front of you in your warrior two position. Now let's bring our yin yang sign here. Let the left arm float down as the right arm floats up. Like we're in peaceful warrior, you can look up. And then we're gonna switch it. Exhale, circle around like the circle of the seasons. And circle up. Peaceful warrior variation. And circle around as though you're moving into side angle. And if you forgot what side angle, side angle is usually this but with our arm up, our torso has to work a little harder and fire up that agni, our inner sun, our inner fire. Let's do one more round. And exhale. And inhale into our warrior two. Straighten the front leg, turn your toes to the long side of your mat again. This time we're gonna move into fiery angel. So we're gonna turn our toes out 45 degrees, not parallel this time. And as you bend your knees, you want the knees and the toes moving in the same direction. So adjust your toes accordingly so that they're moving in the same direction. Inhale, reach up to the sky, let your hips sink, whatever's appropriate for you today. And exhale, bend your elbows so that your arms are like cactus arms. As you inhale, lift your heart, maybe lift your gaze if you feel balanced. And as you exhale, bring your forearms together, let your spine curl, let your chin drop. Now we're gonna oscillate between these two movements. Inhale, open and open the heart, lift the heart. Exhale, bring it together. It's kind of like we're doing cat-cow standing in a really awkward pose, right? <laughs> Inhale, open and lift. Exhale, bring it together, curl the spine, drop the chin. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. 
And now go ahead and straighten, release your arms. Let's turn the right toes to the top of your mat. Step to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, exhale here in your mountain pose. How are we doing for time? Okay. Um, I really feel like we need to do half moon pose today because we didn't do it last week. <laughs> so half moon, you might want to grab your blocks. Pretend I have a block at the top of my mat. Actually, I'm going to do it this way so I don't have my butt to the camera again. You could have both blocks at the top of your mat. And we're going to step our right foot back. And we're going to come into triangle pose. <clears throat> so with triangle pose, your front leg is straight. Reach your left arm up. Reach forward. Lengthen that left side body. Reach, 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 reach. And then once you're at your max, just let that hand float down to your shin wherever it lands. And reach your right arm up to the sky. And then rotate your right ribs up to the sky and maybe you can look up to the sky. And if that's difficult, maybe come up a little bit with your hand higher on your shin and that'll give you a little more space. On your next inhale, come up into reverse triangle. So lifting that left hand up and really lengthen that left side body. And now we're gonna bend that front knee. Left hand is gonna to come to your block and maybe both hands come to your blocks to help you transition or your left, right hand can stay on your hip. We're gonna float right leg up to the sky. So your left hand with your block is about a foot ahead of the pinky toe side of that balancing foot. You might keep one, both hands on a block to help you here or you might reach the right hand up to the sky. So this is half moon pose and if you think about that suspension in the sky, that sun reflecting and illuminating off the moon. You find some effort and ease here in the pose for one last breath. And then bend your front knee. We're gonna step gently, gracefully, let that right foot come down. Come all the way up. Nice, release your hands down. Step to the top of your mat. So second side, if you've only got one block, you can move it to the outside of your right foot. And let's step our left foot back for triangle on our second side. So the front leg stays straight. Maybe a little micro bend if you tend to hyperextend. Reach your right arm out, reach long, make that right side body. As long as you can, keep reaching, 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 and then just let that hand float down. Don't worry if it's not touching the floor, or it's not touching your ankle, because you want to be able to roll those left ribs up to the sky and reach that right, sorry, left arm up to the sky, and maybe look up to the sky if you feel balanced. Take one more breath in your triangle. And your next inhale with your ujjayi breath, come all the way up. Reverse triangle, right arm reaches up. Make nice length in that right side body. Open those ribs. And then we're gonna bend that right knee. That right hand is gonna reach to your block. And that block is about a, maybe a foot ahead of that little toe side so that you have space to keep the length on that right side of your body. And maybe the left hand floats up. It might even just rest on your hip or on your block. Find your breath and really fire up that floating leg and feel that expansion for one last breath. And then bend your standing knee and gently float that back leg down into your lunge position, like you're going back into triangle. Rise all the way up. Nice. Step to the top of your mat. Take a couple breaths in mountain pose. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna make our way down to the mat, but it feels like it's cooling off, so we're gonna get nice and warm getting down to our mat. So let's do our chair pose, our low, low chair. So you can have hands on your hips, you can reach your arms out in front, or you can reach them up. Take an inhale, lift up, and as we exhale, 
we slowly come into our chair and then just keep going as far as you can and sometimes reaching in front of you helps until you can come to your butt as gently as possible use your hands to help you get there not all of us have good knees anymore <laughs> we're going to come into our boat pose and again your boat pose might be like this just lifting your heart there's a lot going on just doing this or you might float both up and let's do that same thing to the right or press elbow into knee knee into elbow to center to the left press 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 back to center and then we're going to lie down nice and slow extending 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 until you come all the way down so i just laid on my mat and it felt really cold if you want to put a sweater on we're going to do some cool down poses and i'm going to turn the heat on <laughs> You want to lay on the couch, Suzanne? It's yeah. not hot up there. <laughs> if you want socks or a sweater or a blanket on as we make our way down and begin our cool down, please go ahead and grab that now. I know I'm going to grab mine. And then once you're ready to go, bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet to the mat. <clears throat> so from here, you're lying on your back, knees bent, soles of the feet on the mat, hands at your, just beside your hips. We're going to move into bridge pose. Does anybody not know bridge pose? It's hard to me to demonstrate if you don't know it when you're laying down. Okay. So I'll do a quick demo. If you don't know bridge pose, you can sit up so that you can see. So begin by pressing your feet into your mat as though you're making an impression of in clay with your feet. And press your elbows into the mat, fingertips point to the sky with elbows bent. And as you inhale, lift your hips up off the mat and you can walk your outer arms underneath you. And some of you might want to intertwine your hands under your bum and press your forearms down into the mat. Some of you are going to keep your elbows bent with fingertips pointing to the sky and pressing your elbows down. <clears throat> Inhaling and exhaling here in your bridge pose. And if you want to experiment a little bit, Mitch, walk your feet apart a little bit to give your sacrum a little, that's perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> See what it feels like if you rise up onto your toes. And then sink the heels down. And lift your toes, press into your heels. See how that feels. And then take whichever position, either heels and toes down, whichever position feels best to you today, take that position for the last two breaths of your bridge pose. And maybe those last two breaths feel best with a block under your sacrum in supported bridge pose. Take one last inhale. And then as you exhale, slowly release your hips down. Nice, slow, release your hands out from under you. Beautiful. <clears throat> Now, I'm going to give you uh, an option here. We're going to do bridge pose again. <clears throat> and you can slide a block under your sacrum and let your hips rest on there. Actually, let's all try that if you have a block. <clears throat> if you don't have a block, just come back into bridge pose again. So when you're ready, we'll rise up into that bridge pose again and put the block on whatever height feels best for you. So it might be on the lowest, it might be on the highest, or it might be in the little. Susan, do you want to block? No. You're good? Yeah. 
And then if you're in bridge with no block, you can let your hips sink down. Those of you on your block, raise your feet up to the sky. So bend one knee, then the other, soles of the feet up to the ceiling as though you are walking on the ceiling. And if you need to adjust your block some way, if that doesn't feel comfortable, do so. So there might be some of you in this room that know shoulder stand and are comfortable moving into shoulder stand. I'm not going to teach it today because I don't like teaching it if I can't come and adjust anybody. So you can either just reach your soles of your feet to the sky or you can move into shoulder stand if it's in your practice. And if you don't have a block, you can also put your hands underneath your bum and reach your feet up to the sky. So this is, no matter which variation you're doing, this is a gentle inversion to help move the lymphatic fluid in the body because it doesn't have a heart to pump it. And at this time of year in the spring, sometimes we can have a lot of congestion and colds and mucus. And this inversion helps to move those fluids around so that we don't have that congestion. Sometimes we have swelling behind the knees this time of year. Those of you that are in shoulder stand, if you want to move into plow pose, you can do that now. And we've got a few more breaths with those of you who have the block under your hips. <clears throat> And if it's not comfortable having your feet up to the sky with a block under your hips, you can do this with no block too. Just the elevation gives you a little bit more of an inversion. So again, honor your body and whatever's going on in your body. Let's have two last breaths and then we'll all come out of whatever position you're in. Nice and slow. And you could start by slowly bending the knees and bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. And if you've got a block under your sacrum, gently lift the hips, remove the block, and let your hips touch down on your mat. And then just pause there for a few breaths. And then extend your arms wide, straight out from your shoulders. And I promise I wash the floor. And then you can have your knees bent, but have your feet either wide on your mat or hip width apart. But knees are bent and the soles of the feet are on the mat. We're gonna move into a twist. Actually, no, we're gonna do something different. Sorry, changed my mind. Draw your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg straight. <clears throat> into apanasana and just let your uh, left heel be down on the floor and just let this be a passive pose a resting pose remember we're balancing the yin and the yang so not everything has to be an effort just let this be delicious and soft and gentle And then bring your left hand to the outside of that bent knee. And you're going to draw that leg over and across into a twist, extending your right arm out on the mat. And you can look towards that right fingertips. And again, let this be soft and gentle, not forcing just unwinding the spine. And on your next inhale, gently come back to center. Let that sole of the foot come down to the mat. Bend both knees again. Both soles of the feet come on the mat. And now draw your left knee in. Extend your right leg straight, if that's available to you. And hug that thigh into your belly. Nice, soft, 
ease here. And then right hand comes to the outside of that knee. Extend your left arm out. And gently draw that knee over and across, coming into a twist. <clears throat> Let your breath be soft here. No forcing. Being kind and gentle, finding that yin energy in this posture. As we let go of the yang, let go of the fire, gently come back to center on an inhale. Bend both knees, both soles of the feet to the mat. <clears throat> Pause and just notice. And then draw both knees in towards your chest. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself a hug. Maybe you rock from side to side. Massage your back body. Or maybe you find stillness. And then you can either come into happy baby, or you can move directly into your shavasana position. Whatever feels best to you. And if you don't know happy baby, Happy baby is knees bent, grabbing the soles of your feet and drawing the knees towards the floor, soles of your feet parallel to the ceiling. Sometimes it feels nice to rock from side to side in your happy baby. For some of us, that doesn't feel great, so take whatever is best for your back right now and what's going on in your body. And then we're going to release down into Shavasana, which is lying down, heels wide, arms gently away from your sides, palms facing up to the sky if you're able. And if you need something under your knees, a rolled up jacket or a sweater, or maybe you need to bend your knees and have the soles of your feet on the mat with knees dropping into one another, if you've got something going on in your low back that doesn't feel great, that can feel nice as well. So rather than some nice soft yoga music, you're going to be lulled into rest by the sound of the heater. <laughs> but as you lie in your Shavasana, covering up with whatever you need to be comfortable, Let, letting your eyes float closed. Bring your awareness back to the softness of your breath. Letting go of the need to control the breath, letting go of your ujjayi breath. And just allow, allowing it to flow softly in and out of your body through your nose on its own accord. <clears throat> allowing these next few minutes to let every cell in your body absorb the fire and the sun that you created in your practice today.
without changing anything in your body. Just softly bring your awareness to your breath. Notice how the air flows into your body as you inhale. It flows back out again as you exhale. Notice those parts of your body that are connected to the earth plane beneath you. And notice those parts of your body that are connected to the sky above you. And then decide your position of stillness as we move into a short meditation. You might stay lying on your back. Or you might gently begin to make your transition into fetal position and to a seat. Your choice, either is fine. Taking your time, being gentle with yourself and moving slowly. Or staying right where you are. If you've chosen a seat, let your eyes float closed if they've opened. Let your hands rest on your thighs or your knees. If you stayed on, oh, nobody stayed on their back. And take a moment to shift into this new position internally. Feeling into those parts of you that are now connected to the earth. And those parts of you that are lengthening up to the sky above. To quote William Shakespeare, the great cause of the night is the lack of the sun. So as you sit here or lie in your meditation, bring your awareness to your navel center and the gentle expansion and contraction of the belly. And begin to imagine a sun right at your belly center, glowing brightly, warming you. If you are feeling dark and clouded, this is the time to take the sun inside you and become the sun in your life. As you inhale, feel that sun grow brighter and stronger and warmer. And as you exhale, imagine those sun's rays spreading out into your entire body. The sun's intense illuminating rays bring vision and its brightness reveals the way to personal clarity, burning away the fog of the mind. Today, experience your vitality, your health and your energy. Shine your sun bright with enthusiasm and warmth on your friends, your family, and your colleagues. And just allow stillness for the next minute. Your breath softly flowing, the sun at your center. Gently bring your hands to your heart center. <clears throat> Today
take a deep inhale. Exhale out your mouth. Take one more inhale, and we're going to close with one ohm. Oh. That was just our practice round. Let's do two more. your eyes cast towards the floor let your eyes flutter open bring your awareness back into the space and then to those around you namaste 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 <laughs> hmm, thank you so much for sharing your energy and your breath and your movement today it's nice to be practicing and teaching in front of real people instead of just my computer. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you so much, you guys. If anybody has any questions or thoughts or anything you want to ask, feel free. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful, restful night. <laughs> and that we see you next week and that it's warmer out. <laughs> Did you guys get cold at the end? Were you guys okay? Yeah. Even when I turned off the heat, it was all good. You, you don't want to be under that, right under that thing next week, Trisha. I didn't think to tell you. I remember you're always too hot. You want to be over Relexias. <laughs> I know. As soon as I lay down, I thought, ooh, I, I would have liked to leave you guys in Shavasana longer, but I felt like it's too cold down there. You know what, next week, bring a blanket, if not to cover with, to lay on your mat so that you don't feel the cold of the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. too cold. Were you gonna? For you. For the wonderful, month. the whole month? Yeah. Wonderful, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm a thank member, you. so I... Yes, I, I saw that you okay, remember. Good. And I'm so excited that you guys are coming to play on the 30th. Yeah, we're That's so awesome. Too. I need to ask you, are you guys gonna need a PA, or were you able to just play without a PA um, acoustically? Well, we might bring a little speaker okay. and then play it by ear. Okay, if we need awesome. It. We probably will, because Kevin's so quiet, his guitar's quiet, my yes. violin's loud. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to balance with me, so. Awesome, Yeah, but awesome. we don't take up much room right Okay, so. no, that's awesome, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, we're excited, thanks for asking. Oh, I'm so excited that you guys agreed to do it. I was like, oh, I hate to ask them, you know, when you're professional and everybody Aww. wants you to do free stuff. No, this is <laughs> like so worth it. Oh, we're good. So happy that stuff I'm is so going happy here, too. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we hope to have a lot more things and involve you guys, yeah, our local sure. musicians, a lot more. We're getting a lot of our local artists are doing stuff yeah, and, and just want it to be more cultural and more cool stuff happening. Yeah. Some wine and cheeses, which you guys would be perfect fit for. Oh, and, yeah. We, and we once thought or talked about doing like a, a wine and music pairing. So yeah. Wine and cheese yeah. So like different. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. What's that? Oh, yeah. I brought my little one too. Good. Okay, that's uh, awesome. And Jim, there's tables over in that corner also uh, behind the piano. Measure those because I don't. I think they're a different size than those. I'm not. I wasn't done talking to you. Oh, but oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just getting up. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Trish, for coming. I not be here next week. I have a Oh. Oh. Okay, well, hopefully we see you. But Oh, no, I was going to say bring a blanket, but you don't want a blanket. <laughs> Suzanne, how did it go? Those things work really well. Oh, awesome. I'm so happy. Yeah, so I can do yay! So yay, yay! For the month? For the month? Yeah. Do you want to be a member? Are you going to come to any of our other stuff? I oh, I forgot to tell everybody. We have like a meditation okay. thing this weekend. Well, yeah, I'm not coming this weekend. yeah, you don't I'll, do weekend I'll, stuff. Yeah, I'll okay. pay for the thing. For the thing? Okay. okay, got it. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Oh, thank you. That's great. I'm glad I could. Uh, 50. 50. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Sorry. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking not very well. <laughs> True. 
Oh, no. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, now I have to come. Yes. This is, I like doing monthly because when people pay, they come. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, I don't really feel like it. Oh, good. Dave should come. I find. He would have actually didn't have fireballs. Really? Because he. I think he would. Yeah, I think he would. Suzanne, yeah. it was great to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. And hopefully we see you next week. Ah, uh, yes. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Um, just banded the goals. Sorry, what? About a drummer. You were asking about a drummer. Oh, because yeah. Randy phoned me just before yoga class and was asking about the drummer. And it's, it's uh, Erickson. Um, Connie Erickson was your drummer. That wasn't you, was no. It? Okay. no, no, her name's Connie Erickson, though, because there was a um, Sunny, Sunny Chani was was there, yeah, and she told me it was Connie, okay, well, which made sense. Sunny. I just didn't think of who it was because I wasn't here. I just so, to say hi. Oh, <laughs> Randy, are you are you doing construction here? Me, heck no. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought I thought I saw a guy that was doing construction, and then I saw you, and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> It really does everything. <laughs> yeah, I do. How many do you have? You, sh oh, you should have said something before everybody left. Actually, people are still there. Here, I'll take two dozen. I don't want to say that. Yeah, Susan has eggs for sale if anybody needs some. I'll go grab See? them. I'll just I wouldn't, but we just bought a bunch. Oh, did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, chicken soon. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Oh, awesome. Laying chickens or sorry. laying or birds? Lay yeah. Nice. Yeah. Are you guys on Co uh, Connie, uh, Corey and Monica's prop or land? Yeah, in we are. We're in Esther's old house. I was going to say in the yeah. grandma and grandpa, I couldn't remember. Yes. <laughs> couldn't remember Esther. their names. She's at the manor. Okay. Which we play there sometimes. We would have played there this Thursday, but like they called and had a cancellation, but we're going to be in Calgary. So I have a question for you, mm -hmm. and don't be offended if this is not true. I'm asking this because of some of your modifications. Are you pregnant? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to ask. I was going to tell you. That's right. I wanted you to stay, but I, I thought like, I noticed what you're doing, and I thought <laughs> I think she's pregnant, but you look so slim. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> what happened? My lady Nan did like oh. ten minutes ago, but this is for the month. Oh, thank okay. you. I was like, yeah, I was too. I was like, no. I was just at her house too. Really? <laughs> I forgot my yeah. keys the other day, and so I, she had them, and I couldn't message, get in the hall. I was in this meeting, and I couldn't really. Text. Did you try to? I'm to, sure it works. I tried. I, I flipped it and I came back it. to it. I'll try it right now. And I pulled and pulled and did yeah, everything. Sorry. And then I remembered that you, I was going to bring you your keys. So but I figured I could get in with that. Yeah. And then I couldn't get in, so then I came. But it was fine. I got everything cleaned up and washed and okay. heated okay. before class, so it turned out fine. And Susan has eggs here if you want some eggs. Yeah, if you want eggs, I have some I was wondering if you. I, I didn't, like, now that you're standing <laughs> up, I can see you have a little bump. But when you were practicing, I was like, I don't see any bump. <laughs> <laughs> but I asked Kevin, I was like, do you think I'm just going to think I'm bad? No. I feel different, but. <laughs> yeah, no, I thought, I thought, is she pregnant or does she have an injury? Because I couldn't see a baby bump. But I thought, but she's doing stuff that you do when you're pregnant. So. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Very astute of you. <laughs> Well, very astute of you to know what to do so that you're comfortable doing yeah, what you're for doing. Sure. So. I didn't like I've done yoga for a long time, but I never okay. looked at modifications. But I was like, you know what? I should I should be aware of like yeah. what to do. It's when yeah. you weren't going onto your belly, I'm like, is she <laughs> yeah. pregnant? I was all, I tried it, I'm like, oh, Yes, no, no you did, pregnant. you did awesome. <laughs> you did you. awesome. And when we're doing like the wide legged poses, mm -hmm. don't go as super deep as you could normally okay. because of the, the, hormones that are making your joints lax. Okay. You don't want to overstretch anything. So okay. it's good to keep that movement going, but don't do like if you went super deep in Warrior Two before. Right. Don't go super deep. Just go okay. like a little bit. If, if Just go a little bit. Thank, okay. you. thank you. Well, thank so, you. So yeah, you did it's awesome. It was really person. good to meet you too. And I'm really excited about you guys on the 30th. And thank you. We are too. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, awesome. We'll see you, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Take care of the bump. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Lexi, can I ask what trimester you're in? Yeah, I'm uh, 17 weeks. 17 weeks, so... Sex, so fourth month, yeah. right? 
so that's just coming just, just coming into second yeah. trimester, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. The good trimester. <laughs> perfect time for yoga. <laughs> okay, bye. Have a good evening. Say hi to Kevin. <laughs> it did get changed. What got changed? The code box. And I remember now oh, when I cool. gave Marla... When I gave oh, Marla all the keys, like it can't be it because it's not I even. I said to her, I said, you know what? Maybe you should change the code box. And I totally and did she, forgot. Did she, she tell? Must have, she must have been so oh, quick on it. Yeah. Somebody should put it um, on the on the board. Yes, we should. Whatever have, it is. Well, Marla might have responded by now because you, you. And normally, have I have my keys. I've never not had them until this one time where the code box doesn't work. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure Marla changed it, and I I now remember saying, you know what, Marla, it's probably time to yeah. change it. Yeah. Well, we talked about that too. So 